Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, run, and set up Cloudflare tunnels on Proxmox. This setup lets you securely tunnel local services, like Proxmox or Home Assistant, through Cloudflare without opening any ports on your router. Simple, secure, and completely free once you've linked your domain with Cloudflare. If you're interested in tutorials like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow along. Before we begin, make sure you have a few things ready. You'll find everything you need in the previous videos. First, a Cloudflare account. And second, a domain that's already added and active inside Cloudflare. Let's get started. Now, head over to Cloudflare Zero Trust. You'll find the link down in the description. First, select your account. Now, give your team a name. I'm going to call mine Conversion Virgincist. Then click Next. Next, you'll see a few different plan options. For this tutorial, we're going to choose the free plan. It's more than enough for testing and setup. Go ahead and click on Select Plan under the free option. You'll now see a summary of your plan on the right-hand side. Since we're using the Zero Trust free plan, the total cost is $0 per month. Once everything looks good, click on Proceed to Payment to continue. Even though it's free, Cloudflare still requires credit card details to activate Zero Trust. Next, click on Add Payment Method. This is where you'll enter your billing details. Don't worry, all transactions are secure and encrypted. Cloudflare won't charge you anything. It simply needs a payment method on file to activate Zero Trust. Once you've entered your payment details and billing information, click on Next to complete the setup. Remember, you won't be charged. This step just finalizes the activation of your Zero Trust account. Now, from the menu on the left, click on Networks and then select Tunnels. This is where we'll set up the secure connection between Cloudflare and your resources. Now, click on Add a Tunnel. This will let us create a new secure connection that links Cloudflare to your network or application. Next, click on Select Cloudflare. This option sets up a secure, outbound-only connection to Cloudflare. It's the recommended method for most setups. Now, give your tunnel a name. For example, I'll call mine Home Test. Then save the tunnel. Next, let's switch over to Proxmox. On the left-hand side, select your node and click on Shell to open the terminal. Now we'll use the Community Helper script to install Cloudflared automatically. Copy and paste the command shown on screen. You can also find it in the description below. Once it's pasted, press Enter to start the installation. Then click on Next. Now, highlight default settings and press OK to continue. These settings work perfectly for most setups, so there's no need to change anything here. You'll see Proxmox create a new container, download the Debian template, and install Cloudflare in the background. When prompted to configure Cloudflare as a DNS over HTTPS proxy, type the letter N and press Enter. We don't need this option for our setup, so it's safe to skip it. When it's done, go back to your Proxmox web UI. If you don't see the new container appear straight away, just refresh the page. Once it's visible, you should see your Cloudflare container running. Now we're going to link our Cloudflare container to Cloudflare. Back in your Cloudflare dashboard, scroll down until you see the Debian option and click on it. Then copy the command shown under Install and run a connector. You'll need to run this command after you have installed Cloudflare on your machine. Go back to your Proxmox container and the console and paste that command in. Press Enter, and Cloudflare will connect using your unique key. 
you'll see it say service installed successfully. That means it's now linked to your Cloudflare account. Back in Cloudflare, click on Tunnels. You should now see your tunnel listed with a status showing as healthy. That means your connection has been successfully established and everything is working correctly. Now let's create your first public host name. This is how Cloudflare knows what to forward traffic to. Next, click the three dots on the right side of your tunnel and select Configure. This will open the settings where we can set up routes and define how traffic is handled through this tunnel. Under Published Application Routes, click on Add a Published Application Route. Now, give your subdomain a name. Since we're setting this up for Proxmox, I'm going to name mine Proxmox. Then, under Domain, select the domain name you added earlier, in my case, that's Conversion Virgins Test. Next, under Service Type, select HTTPS. Now, head back to Proxmox. We'll need to grab the IP address of your Proxmox server and make sure you include the port number as well. Once you have it, copy that address and paste it into the URL field in Cloudflare. This connects your tunnel directly to the Proxmox web interface. Now, since we're setting this up for Proxmox, we'll need to turn on the No TLS Verify option. You can find this under Additional Application Settings, then open the TLS section. Switch it on. This allows Cloudflare to connect even if your Proxmox certificate isn't verified. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. Next, and this is one of the most important steps, we're going to set up two-factor authentication. We'll be using email as the authentication method and we'll configure it to refresh and ask for verification every seven days. This adds an extra layer of security to your Cloudflare setup. We'll start by setting up the Policies section. In your Cloudflare Zero Trust dashboard, go to Access on the left-hand menu and then click on Policies. This is where we'll create rules that control who can log in and how often authentication is required. Now click Add Policy. Now give your policy a name, something easy to recognize like email access. Leave the action and session duration settings as they are. The default options work perfectly for this setup. Next, under Add Rules, open the drop-down menu and select Emails. Then, in the value box, enter the email address you want to use for authentication. In my case, that's info at conversionvirgins.co.uk. If you want to add more email addresses, you can do that too. Just type them into the same value box. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page. You can leave all the remaining settings as their default values. Once that's done, click Save to finish creating your policy. Now we need to set up the Applications section. From the left-hand menu, click on Applications, then click Add an Application. This is where we'll link our authentication policy to the specific app we want to protect. Next, click on Self-Hosted. This option is for applications that you host yourself, like your Proxmox server or other tools running in your own environment. Now, let's give the application a name. I'll use Home and Earth's 4 test to match our tunnel. Next, under Session Duration, set it to one week. This means users will only need to re-authenticate once every seven days, keeping things secure but convenient. Next, click on Add Public Hostname. In the subdomain field, enter an asterisk. This means it will apply to all subdomains. Then, from the drop-down menu, select your domain name. Now, scroll down a little and click on Select Existing Policies. From the list, choose the email access policy we created earlier, then click Confirm. This links your authentication policy to the application, ensuring only approved users can sign in. Now, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Next. Then, click Next again to move forward. We're almost done. This final step will save and apply all of your settings. And that's it, we're all set up.
Now let's go ahead and test everything to make sure it's working just as expected. To test the setup, go back to the Tunnels section. Click the three dots next to your tunnel, then choose Configure. From there, go to Published Application Routes and click on the route you created earlier. This will open your secure connection through Cloudflare. You'll then be taken to the Enter Your Login Code screen. Here, type in your email address and Cloudflare will send you a verification code to complete the login. Once you receive the email from Cloudflare, copy the access code provided. Then, go back to your Cloudflare login screen and paste the code into the box. This will verify your identity and complete the secure login process. And that's it, you've now completed the entire setup. Your Cloudflare Zero Trust Tunnel and Secure Access configuration are fully up and running. Just a quick note, this demonstration was done in my test environment, and everything shown here was deleted after recording. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.